Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avriel R32, here bringing you guys a Mystic Degenerate Mind deck profile that our dad, the OG Jeff Leonard, decided to pilot at this Kissimmee Regional, and yeah, he did way better than my ass, but that's sitting the bar really, really low, so be sure to smash every little boo-boo stand out of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond into the 1K ladder. Let's go ahead and go on over his matchups, uh, because this, this was disgusting. He went 5-2-2, should have been 6-1. Um, but he didn't know how the end of match procedures worked when they said freeze play. He thought, oh, that's like the end of the phase. No, he had a prosperity. He could have hit Cauldron and then won the game. Um, so round one, he played Flunder. He won. He was 1-0. Round two, uh, he played Tier. He was 1-1. Round three was Sword Soul. He was 1-1-1. So one win, one draw, a loss. Round four, he played against Tier. He was 2-1-1. Then he played against uh, Flunder. Round five, he was 2-2-1. Then he played against Tier Element of Shizu round six. He was three two one. Round seven he beat Attic Nister. Uh, he was three or excuse me, he got a loss. He was three two two. Then he had a no show in round eight. He was four two two. Then he beat Cash Tira, finishing out five two two. He should have one more win if he did the end of match procedures correctly. So he's actually chilling out with us. He's gonna let us know how well uh, this deck did. So let's go ahead and uh, dive on into it here. We're playing two copies of Planet Pathfinder. How'd this card work out for you? It only came up a couple of times. And two is fine. You would for say trying to save space, three is too many. It's um, like another terraforming that you can just almost summon. Uh three copies of this card, Sant Wabi. This card's dumb. How'd this come up? Uh in this one, regional, it, not that much. I mean it's there, you have to try to get your mystic mind to stick. Uh, but it seemed that uh, most of my game's first ones were, I was going second. So uh, they had already established the board. But not so much in this deal. The UD Field Barrier has uh, worked, it worked better this uh, tournament than um, Silent Bobby did. Hope you're going first, too, for like setting up mine. They were playing three copies of the Degenerate Mine. I don't think there's really nothing to explain there. Uh, three copies of Field Barrier. So you said that. Uh, a tier element player tried to play the primeval planet when this was face up, right? It'll yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't activate spell <laughs> field spells. Not, and he was not he wasn't trying to cheat me. He honestly uh, did not know he had to read the card. Uh three copies of Demise of Land. It's just another way to get to Mystic Mine. Uh so then here here's the pot engine. You you gotta play three prosperity. It's 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 too good. Uh and then three duality and one extra. How'd you like this pot lineup? It was, uh, I added the extravagance because it seemed to be just a little slow for the um, the current format. So I guess I, we should bring up the one day too while we're at it. Yeah, the one day. I put that, I squeezed, I forgot what, I think I squeezed out my third skull, skull for the uh, pot of extravagance get a, and get a better draw engine, make it a little faster because it was just a little too slow. And then the one main deck feather duster, did this ever come up at all? Oh, as yeah. one of? Yeah, that was having that one main. I seem to, in my luck, I always have it when I need it. Uh, so that was that's a good main. And then the one terraforming, just another way to get to uh, Mystic Mine. Three copies of Dark Ruler. A lot of people were cutting this. What do you think about it? No, but especially I lost most of my uh, game one dice rolls. It came in handy, so I'd activate that. That's right. You lost every single well, dice roll, and you and you won like five game ones. Yeah, I lost every <laughs> single dice roll. And one five, and went five and three, uh, and that was two of the first games uh, that set me up right there. Oh man! Uh, and then two copies of Cauldron. Um, people were telling him to play one, but like two, with two, like you can gain life points if like they're hitting you with Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. Um, he even got hit with a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon when the Castiera player. But then the Castiera player was bad, and he decided to tribute it because he got antsy. So, yeah, no, like, two of this is good, and you also side deck the third, too. So, you know, keep keep that in mind. It's it's disgusting for time. You hit it off the prosperity, you gain life points like you should have done, <laughs> and you win. Um, yeah, it's 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 good. Um, we, we try to tell people that this acts like a negate. Two goddess gold. So tell us about this little thing here. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, take out one for the um, extravagance, but uh, looking at it again, I uh, about the only change I would make is to squeeze that third one in because I seem to get that it, it's a, as a negate every draw phase once you get set up and you activate that at the end 
it, during your turn, every draw phase. You just give monsters once you're set up with Mystic Mind. It's, it's, it's a draw negate every turn. You see what then it came up? That was, other than Mystic Mind and Cauldron, that was the MVP of the deck. Uh, so I want to get the third one back in there without going to 41 cards. It helps, too, that people were all preparing for tears, so they're not playing back row hate for the Mystic Mind, which helps this deck a lot. And then for the traps, that was everything for the monsters and spells. We're playing two copies of Curse Sale. You said that this card was disgusting all day. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, one guy said the card was older than he was. It <laughs> originally came out, I guess, late 90s, early 2000s. Early 2000s, yeah. And uh, they had to call the judge over once. To, it was for the tier element uh, spell and trap removal because it got destroyed by a card fight and he wanted to search, yeah. but this says you can't use the card for that duel. Yeah, and it was, and I wanted to know myself, I wasn't sure, when his card goes to the graveyard, it gets an effect, and I forget the tier element spell card, but there was a search or some, some type of effect. A lot of them search. It was probably the spell and trap removal that you negated, I'm sure. And he activated it, and I had to get rid of it uh, because it was going to uh, interrupt my mystic mind. Something there. So I said I had to pop it, and then he went to graveyard wanted to get the search, and I said this the cards it's gone for the rest of this uh, mat, uh, rest of this duel, and uh, so he called the judge over, and the judge had to call the head judge to come read this old card. And uh, shout out to Raymond. <laughs> yeah, so it, it negated all together. It doesn't get anything. Either. And in Raymond's words, and I quote, "Mr. James, you get five points for Gryffindor." <laughs> Uh, and then we have three copies of Judgment. Um, you lost in time because of this card, right? Yeah, I sure did. It's like third game. It's almost, I want to, if I could, you know, how can you substitute Judgment? And you can't. Yeah. But in third game, you can get close to time, 4,000. You can't recover with Cauldron. It was just not enough time. And then for the last set of negates, you have three Bribe, and then, of course, the Metaverse to get to Mystic Mine. I think that that's all pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Alright, for the extra deck, <laughs> we're playing 15 Waking the Dragon targets without playing <laughs> Waking the Dragons. Infinitrack, uh, the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate, Last Warrior for Another Planet, Exterio, Ultimate Falcon, and then the 5,000 Fire Cardian. This can just be whatever extra deck cards you want. If you want to play Waking the Dragon, go for it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, side deck, three Lava Golems. Did you side deck these a lot? I imagine that you did. I sided up to two of them in and it never got along. Never wow. came up. Um, we'll copy a D Fisher because the milling support is insane. It came up once, but uh, it really didn't. You know, it's only a one of, and I just didn't get it. I found I wanted more protection than the uh, milling. And then a third cauldron and a third goddess, which is They're that's both, just disgusting for time. Uh, ca ca Skull went in every game too. He stayed there the rest of the match. Cauldron came in. The third one came in if uh, getting. Within ten minutes to the end of the round, because you need to get you need to see that at your win condition, you need to get that as soon as possible, and just start increasing your life points if you need. And then three lightning storm. Is it, did these ever come up? Because I mean, they're really bad against tier, obviously, because all their effects activate unless you already have Mystic Mind active. Yeah, I used it. There was not game changing, but it was there. It, it didn't. It wasn't a game changer. It came up, and I used it a couple times, but they were insignificant cards. Uh, third curse seal. I bet that came up a lot. That came in getting a. In second, third games, it automatically comes in because they're going to side in their hate, and you got to be ready for it. Uh, three even lays for going second, and then the one unending, and then the one macro. Any anything on that really, or uh, not macro, pretty standard? Uh, didn't get the macro. I got the D Fisher off. It didn't really do anything. Macro, it, I sided it in a couple times. Didn't do nothing. Unending, sided it in as well. Never came up. Uh, the um, evenly matched. Uh, I think I used it uh, used it once, cleared the board, but it wasn't game changing. It was there. It's mainly if you get your protection down, it it just never came up. But I, of course, I cited them in, uh, but they didn't really change anything. All right, that is the deck, ladies and gentlemen. Any changes that you would make to it, or not? Nah, like, do you think this is just pretty standard? Like, other than the third goddess you had mentioned? Yeah, the skull. I'm gonna. The skull is just too good not to main all three of them. I need to get that in. And just trying to figure out uh, what to take out for it. Make it 41 cards, like I used to in my old chain burn. Or try to squeeze something <laughs> oh out, too. Yeah, we, we got to talk about chain burn in the profile, of course. Another draw, The um, trying to get another extravagance in would be, uh, or generic. I thought about Magical Mallet if you open up. You've got five or your five six cards, and you you want to get Mystic Mind, just keep it on, stick it on the board, protect it. If you open up and you've got a 
terrible hand, you could use Magical Mallet just to redraw your another five cards. Uh, and I thought about that, but uh, not a lot of testing with it. Mm. Also, it side note, he got a lot. He got a lot of compliments on his bubblegum wrapper sleeves. Like literally, the, you can't even get these sleeves anywhere, and they feel like bubblegum wrappers. So yeah, and the extra deck sleeve, the gold. gold yeah, gold. it's it's the same type of bronze. texture. It's just a bronze instead. So. Guys, that's my dad's deck list. He went 5 2 2, 52nd place. If I was a better player, it would have been 6 1. And six, probably like 6 1 1. Yeah, so. Not, six. But figure that we would cover the profile anyway, because I know that all y'all like the Mystic Mind decks, and it's funny because like, I feel like my channel's predicated on Mystic Mind. I don't even like Mystic Mind. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will both see you in the next video.